Hey y'all, how y'all doing? My camera's doing something weird. Anyway, today I'm gonna show you my skincare routine for nighttime. Right now it's nighttime, but for morning, I can do a different video if you want me to, but this is my nighttime skincare routine. Do I have glass skin? We're getting there. Positive self talk. You know what I mean? I've been getting a lot of compliments on my skin, and that is such a big difference because I, it, if you knew me back then, literally like five years ago, freshman year of college, yeah, my skin was not the best. I had texture, even like 2020, which was my sophomore year of college, before the pandemic, right before the pandemic, I decided to pick up my camera and just did like, a picture like I don't know if I still have it. I hope I do I'll show you my skin was not the greatest and you know what it was my fault I messed it up because I was not born with acne none of that it was me that messed it up me you know what middle school I got curious of like I was watching YouTube videos people putting honey on their face egg yolk egg whites I was like there has to be something mind you my skin is nice plump sitting Nothing wrong with it, but I was just really curious. My mom always says this, but like, she's like, oh, you love trying things? Like, you don't need to, you just love trying it. Yeah, I guess I've been like that since I was younger. My skin was not doing well. Like, my skin broke out so bad. I tried Aztec clay with apple cider vinegar, and my skin did not agree with that. I had red bumps all over here. It was mostly right here, my forehead. One year, I decided to not dry my face after I washed it. I don't know why, and that gave me like fungal acne. So that's like, fungal acne is basically the same like bumps, but it's the same color as your skin. I had that, and it's because I did not dry my face. If you're having trouble with that, maybe it's because of that. But then, during the pandemic, I learned that less is more. Less is more. That is key for your face. So I stopped doing home remedy, face masks, all of that. I bought stuff that actually works for me. I still use face masks, wash my face, serums, all of that. The ones that I broke out, gotta go. Like, I'm not gonna break out my skin just trying different things. This year specifically, specifically, I've been getting a lot of compliments on my skin. Like, especially when I do my get ready with me's, everyone's like, skincare routine. I'm like, whoa, you know what I mean? Cause that's refreshing. I did not have the best skin. I messed it up, my fault. But you know what? We're back up and I'm gonna show you what I do. I do have a couple of things I wanna try today, but I'm gonna show you my OG things cause why would I try something new and tell you that works for me? So I'm gonna show you everything that has been working for me. I got you. And if you're struggling with like skin problem and it's similar to mine, just ask me in the comments. I'll let you know exactly what I do. I do not gatekeep. I'm also gonna show you the mask I already use. I'm gonna go into detail with this because I got you every single thing, where I got it from, what it does for my skin, and it's just gonna be just like a lengthy video, just explaining in detail. I'm one thing about me, I can I can be in detail. I can go into detail. All right. But anyway, I'm also filming for TikTok. Also, if you don't follow me on TikTok, follow me there. I post almost every single day. Actually, I do post every single day. And if I don't, it's very rare for me to not even at least post one time. So I'm very active on that. The thing about YouTube Shorts, it, it only lets me post one minute. TikTok, I have three minute content where I'm talking, doing things, but I have to cut it down to one minute so I can post it on Shorts. Check out my TikTok, cause I blabble. I've learned a lot of things along the way. Obviously, I don't know every single thing, but I'm gonna give you my formula. Maybe it'll help you. So this is exactly what I do every single day. Yeah? We can't see the picture. She wants to take a picture. She got a little camera and stuff in the national scene. Look! Her birthday's the 27th. It's coming. Her and her twin, you know. It's they, but you know it's hers, you know. We gotta keep her individual. She's taking pictures of everybody in the house. Okay, I just brushed my teeth. Everything's clean in my mouth. As you can see, like I just had water splashed, everything. That's why I always like to brush my teeth first so that I can clean up my face. Let's start over again, you know, a little bit of distraction. Anyway, the first thing I do before starting off anything with my face is to wash my hands. I literally sat down and I was like, how can I make my skin better when I first started breaking out? And the first thing was wash your hands. You can't clean up your face. Like, in my, you know, I'm telling myself, like, I just couldn't clean up my face if my hands are dirty. Imagine, you know, I just took a shower right now, touched a bunch of things, you know, body parts, things, nose, water faucet, every single thing. Light, setting up the camera, everything. So you just don't know what you'll touch. So just like wash your hands. My hands are clean. I wipe it with my clean towel. I actually had disposable towels that I was right here and we finished it like this. So I just ordered some, it's coming tomorrow. So I should have done my routine tomorrow, but I've already showed you guys on the last video, but it's basically, it comes with this and it's basically stacked facial towel extra large and the brand is called Ormed. I really like the towel so much I repurchased it again with my money because they sent it to me as like hey you want to try it I'm like yes and I love this it's so sanitary each 
towel that you get, it's clean, you can recycle it. I'm like, it's a win! And it's $11 on Amazon, so that's where it's at. I'll put it on my storefront. The one I got is a better box, because this box is a little ugly. The one I just ordered is just white, plain. What matters is what's on the inside. I only really care about the towels. After I wash my hands, the first thing I go in is with face wash. My face wash for morning and night is the same thing. I don't switch around. I bought the holy grail face wash. And I think this is what's making me, you know, extra glowy. And my skin has just, I'm breaking out a little bit because I'm about to start next week. My skin is not perfect. That's not what I'm saying at all. But I do say that my skin has literally transformed and if I could be honest like when my skin was breaking out I was having a hard time because acne makes everybody stare at you and I hated attention isn't it funny look at me now anyway I hated attention so when people were looking at me having red bumps right here everybody's like hey what's wrong like you have really nice skin and all of a sudden you're breaking out it just kind of makes you like less confident self-esteem goes down self-confidence goes down so if you're going through that right now I really know what you're going through I feel like that's what really drove me to like research things on like how to get my skin clear so I really hope something or some type of tip helps you do this maybe not all of it because you know your skin might not be the same as mine but I promise it too shall pass nothing's too small of a prayer for God because I prayed that prayer I was like God please like help me with my skin like I don't know what to do like help me guide me through the things different products or techniques or anything to get my skin to cl to be clear like when I first started making changes it happened in a couple of months so if you do have acne right now just bumps just like all of that everyone goes through acne not everyone but most people do you're not alone I kind of went through it for a little bit, so it hasn't been like years, or it's definitely not genetics because I messed up my own skin researching things. So the first thing I use the holy grail face wash is Lourish Pose, and this is the purifying foaming cleanser. I only have this much left because all my sisters love this. I don't know why I've been sleeping on this product because I've known about this since the pandemic. I'm like, mm, I don't want to switch it, like I'm really, you know. I'm very loyal to CeraVe. And the crazy part is this is for actually, I heard it's, it's better for oily skin. And there's one for dry skin. Like if you have extremely dry skin, they have one for that. And it works for me. I have dry skin, but it works for me. My skin is on the drier side, but it works for me. So I'm gonna keep using it. One mistake I made on buying this is actually not getting the pump. The pump is more sanitary. And I got this from Ulta. Also Walmart has it, Target has it, drugstore, any CVS, they have it. This is the technique I've been doing for years and it works for me. While it's dry, no water. I did not turn on the faucet at all. I literally just put it on my skin. What I noticed, wh why this helps me, don't worry though, I'm butter but butter. What I noticed that doing this helps me is that it might just be my brain. This is not fact checked or like fact proven, but I just feel like I'm cleaning more because it's kind of like tacky. So it's like you're getting the dirt more. But so once it looks tacky on my skin, what I do is I add a little bit more water. So I kind of get it like to bubble and then I put it back on and I go back and then I just wash. I always start with my cheeks. It's just a habit. But then I always focus on this because this is probably the oiliest, old, oh, why is it hard to say? It's the oiliest part of my skin. It's like right here, the T-zone I would say. And then my forehead, I really just go over and over and over. What I do every time I wash my face, and I don't know if it's just like a habit thing, like habit stacking, I don't know what it is. But every time I wash my face, I'm like, what did I do today? I wonder what went on my skin. So I'm like, um, did I touch my lips right here? Like, did I touch my forehead while I was looking at something? So I'm like, I don't miss this part because I used to always miss it. This is literally what I used to do right here in the forehead. And I used to always miss this part and I got like a bunch of bumps. I pay attention to that. I hope I don't have any bugs. And now it gets back to, you know, tacky and then I put more water. But obviously this part goes fast, but I'm trying to be as detailed, so I'm slowing it down. And so I wash my eyebrows, my lashes, don't forget that. I used to forget my sideburns so I would get acne. What I noticed is when I started getting acne here, either because of my pillowcase or I'm not washing it. Because once I started, you know, changing my pillowcase, washing it weekly, I started getting less acne there. I'm getting a little bit of breakout here and here, so I'm guessing I needed to, I mean, I wash my pillowcase weekly, so I don't know what it's about, and I've been washing here too. I'm about to start, that's probably it. I always go with two fingers like this and go try to, try to wash my jawline because that part 
used to always, I used to always forget it. My neck, I wash in the shower. Behind my ears, I wash in the shower. But that tiny space between your neck and your face, I always used to forget it. Also, another big thing I'm gonna say is your lips is part of skincare. So for face wash, everything, don't forget it. Just treat it like it's your normal skin. I rinse my face with colder water, not cold, because extremely cold water or extremely hot wet water is not good for our skin. And it's especially not good for my skin. I like it, my skin likes it better when I just do cold, not freezing. Okay, so my face is all clean. Oh, whoops, I forgot the bottom. So my face is all clean. The next important, and when I say important, of my whole routine is make sure you have a clean towel. If you have a certain rag, I mean, if you have a certain washcloth, make sure to wash it weekly. I always wash my, all the stuff I wash my body with, my African net, my microfiber cloth, all of that, my towels, everything, I wash it weekly. And if you have really sensitive skin, I suggest to wash your towels, even your clothes, but everything that touches your face, your pillowcase, all of that with maybe washing detergent, whatever, you know, the sensitive ones. But my skin is okay with like using regular laundry detergent that I use for my clothes, for my towels. I've also switched to plant-based detergent. I heard that, like Tide, Gain, everything. New York was banning some of them. I was like, mm, okay, if you're banning that, I'll ban it for myself. Let me be honest, I have not been drinking my water as much. So I do see my skin just kind of, you know, some stuff popping up. I really just try to really pay attention get to know my skin So I encourage you to do that if you just like you know wash your face and you're like, oh, I wonder what's wrong with my skin Pay attention to it. The first thing I go in is with some type of serum or toner So it's the niacinamide brightening toner. This is really good to even out your skin Also, I used to use it with cotton pad, but it's better to just use it with your hands First of all, you're not wasting product second It's going straight on your skin and that cotton pad is not sucking all of the product inside the pad like the cotton pad It's this or this Good Molecule Discoloration Serum. It's either this or the Good Molecule Niacinamide Brightening Toner. And the funny thing is they're both the same brands, but every time I mix it together, my skin starts to burn and anything that burns, I take it off. Because before I used to be like, oh, it's working. Now I'm like, yeah, it should not be burning on your skin. Anything you put on, if it's burning, Take it out. I think I'm gonna use this. I used this yesterday. I kind of switch on and off, but I'm gonna use the Discoloration Correcting Serum. This has been my favorite for like my March favorite, but I got it back in January, but I really Consistently started using it in like February March. I saw a difference my skin started evening like it just looks more toned as skin color I don't even say this. This is a big part. It's also genetics the reason I got acne I'm gonna say it one more time for the people in the back is because I messed up my own skin But if I left it alone, I feel like I wouldn't I would not have had acne So genetics play a big role also drinking water all of that I still want to tell you what I use because it's important if I did a mask today What I would have used is the ordinary salicylic acid to 2% mask. I've been using this for over two years since the pandemic, since lockdown, and my skin and my pores have never looked better every time I put that on. You know like that bump that you have under, right under your skin where you feel it and it has a like bumps? When I put this on, leave it on for five minutes, nothing longer than five minutes because it starts to burn. My skin just feels baby soft. Those bumps go away. I don't even know how this works. It has some type of magic in this, but I stand by this. I will always have this in my bathroom, but I want, I actually wanted to try this Kiehl's uh, Deep Pore Cleansing Mask today, but I'll just do it on my probably next week or later on this week when I do like pamper routine. After I put on this Good Molecule Serum, I go with a moisturizer. And for nighttime, I've been going in with this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Out of all the moisturizers I've used, this is the best. And I don't know what they put in this, but it's intense hydration, yeah. <laughs> They're not lying. The hydration is has my skin plump. So I'm definitely gonna get more of this. But also, I've always been, for the last three years and longer, I've always used CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I've been using this since beginning of college, so like four or five years ago. It's been working for me, and I only use this nighttime. And if I do run out of like my morning moisturizer, I'll use this with sunscreen. Tonight, I'm just gonna use this. I've been using this though. I'm almost done with it, that's why. I thought the biggest size they had was this, but they actually have a bigger size. So I'm gonna get that bigger size, and I like how this one you can squeeze out, because I have this one, but it's not sanitary. It's the same thing, the exact same thing. But it's definitely not sanitary. I'm gonna use the CeraVe, but I like how thin it is. Cause I don't like when stuff is too heavy. Also, 
Include your neck, girly. I forgot to put the serum on my neck, but include your neck. Your neck is literally part of your skincare, also of your lips. It's part of your skincare, under eye, eyelid, so that, you know, it's not crusty when you put on eyeshadow. This is literally what I tell myself every single time when I put on. After I put on my moisturizer, my skin already feels plump, but these are the extra things I've been adding. It has my skin just because usually I would stop here and also I would put on aqua for but these couple of things have been helping me extra first a beauty eye cream I can't even read it to you because it's all scratched up that's how you know I've been using it a lot but it's the first a beauty eye cream it kind of has like this concealer to it which I love it almost makes it look like your dark circles are not as dark but I've been loving this it moisturizes under my eyes just for like you know puffiness dark circles I struggle with dark circles for the longest time but I've also noticed you know after I'm done with my college my dark circles have lightened up and I know it's because of sleep so sleep is very important I've been trying to sleep like eight hours because I do work out and when I say sleep is so important it helps you like your gym results your under eyes says a lot about your health like what you need to do drinking water sleep I think that's when I see the most if I'm like my under eyes too dark and too like dented if you know what I mean like when it just extra dented, it just looks too greasy, just like too dark around my eyes. I'm not sleeping enough. I'm not drinking enough water. These creams I show you, it's not gonna solve everything. It's really everything. It kind of branches out. Your skincare branches out. So it's like what you're eating. Are you drinking enough water? Are you sleeping enough? Really think about that. But this has been helping. Has like that concealer that kind of makes your eyes look not as dark. As soon as I put it on, I was like, okay, it has like a little tint to it. I like that. I don't know, it just looks more plumped and hydrated. That's all I want it to look like, you know? Other than that, I do my part, you know? Sleep, drink water, eat healthy, as long as you behave, okay? The last step I do for my own skin is I put this Good Molecule Ultra Hydrating Oil around my mouth, cause as I mentioned, my skin is combination and around my mouth, I've always struggled with dry mouth like not dry mouth but like just like right here like exactly around my lips when i was uh younger it used to like if i did not put lotion now i'd go about my date i would smile and it will crack literally right here it would just be like really white so since then i've just been taking extra care of it my thing is i want to be glowy i want to look like a grease ball at night time so that in the morning my skin looks plumped because the night before i just kind of like extra hydrated and so in the morning i just need to put my sunscreen and a little bit of moisturizer but you know i put a lot of sunscreen the last thing I do, obviously, is my lips. So, I use two things. I use this Laneige lip mask, and then I use Aquaphor. The Aquaphor is in my room, so what I do is, I usually do my night skin routine. Night skin? <laughs> skin night? No. I said it right, I said it right. I usually do my night skin time routine, like 30 minutes to an hour before I sleep. So, you know what that means? By the time I sleep, the sleeping lip mask, it works, but it doesn't last like a full hour like this. Because, you know, I drink water, I go downstairs. Right before bed, I actually get my aqua four. That's like right beside my bed. I put extra and then I go to sleep because in the morning, my lips feel buttery. It just feels like I don't even need to put anything for the rest of the day, which I do. I still do. You know, that's just how it feels. That's basically it. Also, with the aqua four, I put it on my eyebrows and my lashes. That's basically my regular every single night nighttime routine i thought about it now my skincare routine is not as simple as it was but it's been working for me my skin has been looking plumped lately like i just kind of like stare at it i'm like i'm proud of you and i really try to not touch my face as much but i do talk with my hands a lot and i'm like trying to not touch my face if you want me to do like a separate morning routine video it's really short but if you still want me to do it in detail like this let me know i got you come again